Hey everybody and welcome back to Das Studio. In this video I'm going to talk to you briefly about photographic principles, which ones you'd need to know and more importantly which ones you can completely forget about. I think you talk to a lot of people who consider themselves to be professional photographers um, or usually just the hobbyists who like to tell you all of the science that they know. Um, usually complete rubbish if you ask me, but they are the kind of people who will insist that you should be fully conversant in all aspects of photography in order to create useful or decent renders. Um, I firmly disagree. There are a lot of aspects of photography that you do need to know, but there are also a lot that you can completely forget about. The most important one is definitely composition. The number of renders that I see that absolutely suck because the composition is all over the place. Um, and it's a really simple principle. It's not just about the rule of thirds or the golden ratio. It's just about knowing where to put things in the frame to give you that nice looking image, whether it's the depth of field that you want or if it's the middle ground foreground. The um, the old artists um, thing that you they used to say you had to have the horizon sky, middle ground, foreground. That's like the watercolor painting thing or something like that. But those rules still are appropriate even in uh, Dash Studio. So spending a lot of time learning about composition is definitely going to help you achieve better results. I would argue though that knowing about the exposure triangle isn't going to help you in any way, shape or form because as you well know, if we are to come across with our render settings tab here and we were to go into the tone mapping, you've got all of these different settings here but they do absolutely nothing. All they do is change the overall exposure value. So changing your shutter speed isn't going to give you motion blur if the character's moving. Changing the f-stop isn't going to give you depth of field. So these are all in a sense completely pointless. These are that I assume that when that studio was first created, they envisaged that these would have some more important um, role. But, you know, ultimately, if you're going to change your exposure, just change your exposure value. That's all you need to know about for Dash Studio. Um, in order to get your depth of field and such things, you have to do that actually in camera, which is not a big problem when you set up your cameras. You can just turn depth of field on or off. It's not a big problem. So um, knowing where to put lights and knowing how to create your own HDRIs, I know that creating your own HDRI isn't necessarily a photographic principle but understanding exposure values is going to help you out when you create them. Um, so knowing how to set up a decent lighting setup so that you get a vaguely realistic effect. I mean this is kind of an extreme case the one that I've got on the screen at the moment. It's not realistic but it's good enough. She's exposed well. You know it could just be that she's walking under another street light and so, you know, you can get away with that kind of thing. But having her lit in, you know, some ludicrous other way, for example, if I was just to go to my environment settings and change my HDRI and I was just to go for something completely idiotic that doesn't even vaguely represent the scene that I'm in, um, when Dad's studio wakes up, it's going to have a bit of a hard time trying to make that look realistic simply because it just isn't the right light for the situation. And the same thing can be said for using mesh lighting or any of the other things. As you can see, that is just absolutely absurd. I mean, that's a, that's a bright daylight lighting setup. Absolutely no need to, um, you know, mess around with that at all. It's completely rubbish. <laughs> there we go. We'll go back to the previous one. That looks a bit more realistic. So sticking spotlights on your character when there's nowhere for them to go and things like that. Learning about how to get decent effective lighting setups is obviously another really important thing that's going to help you get better images. Um, so yeah, and you're going to get a lot of guys come up to you and they're going to start lecturing you about where the golden ratio comes from and try and use technical terms and trip you up and all that. Don't worry about it. You don't need to know all of that stuff. Just learn how to compose your images, learn the basics of Dash Studio, how to set your lighting in a nice effective way, how to pose your characters, use some of the videos that I've got on my playlist about putting eye contact in and things like that and you're going to get much nicer renders. You don't need to worry about all the science and all that stuff. 
Anyway, guys, I think that about wraps it up for this video. It's just a short kind of nod to you guys. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.